Am I ready? No. Well, <laughs> no, the guys that you're coaching. Uh, no, but it'll be good for us. Got so many new guys. We're trying to. I don't want to go too fast, and, and, and then not really fast what we're trying to do. So. But it'll be good. How much of a chance have we got to see Taz in action? What's his early impressions on him? Pretty much what I thought. He's really athletic and, and he shoots the ball really yeah. well. Is he going to be able to go out there with you now? Or? You know what? I think so. Okay. That's I, right. I, don't, I don't know for sure. Right. I have been Josh taking care of Right. Anything specific you want to see from your team during this trip or anything specific you want to take away? Yeah, hopefully we guard better than, than what we guarded a year ago. Hopefully we pass the ball better than what we did a year ago. I think I think we're getting better. I think their their understanding's a lot better. I think they want to. I think that's a big part of it. I think they want to get better. They want to they want to be able to guard and set people down, and I think they, they really enjoy passing the ball to each other. And we've got several guys who are shot makers, so I think if we can get them to share the ball and try to get a better shot than maybe the shot that we have, then we'll make it some strides. When the uh, Big 12 and SEC announced the games a couple of days ago, pretty much kind of completed the, the schedule, just kind of looking at it uh, overall, what, what are your early thoughts? If we don't win, I'm going to fire Josh. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hard schedule, but I, I, you know, I think we're up to the task. Yeah. I, think we, I think we're going to be way better than what we were. I think, you know, the years that, that we've been really good, we've played bunch of people who were really good and we played in tough venues and I think it can it can only help us. But it only helps you if you win. Yeah. You gotta win. Playing those games and losing them up when you well, you've been a part of these tours before, what benefits this team building, chemistry, playing together is the extra time. Well you know what, even guys that don't like each other have to talk to each other, you know? Because there's nobody else to talk to. There. It's good, but I mean this this group is is as close as we've had a group be for a while. They 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 hang out together. They, they spend a lot of time with, together. They're they're in the gym together. So I don't know the team building thing will be quite as important with this with this group as maybe it would be for some. We got a lot of guys haven't played, you know, haven't played at this level. They they play, they haven't played at this level and they're talented enough to play at this level. I think they have to this will give them an idea of how how hard you gotta play and how you can't take plays off and those kind of things. Coach from a team chemistry standpoint, in all the years that you've been in coach, I'm sure you've had some teams where guys just maybe didn't couldn't stand each other but still had a pretty successful season. Having these guys hang around, and it seems like they're building team, good team chemistry. Is that uh, kind of rank that aspect? Just how important uh, is that in, in today's game? Well, I think it's, I think it's really important. I, I think it's with, but you don't want to me. The truth is, I think everybody gets along until. You know, you put people in the stands and, yeah. and you start playing and, and then you get people in everybody's ear talking about, hey man, you got to get yours. And uh, you know, that, I think that's what changes everything. I think it's, it's the people on the outside. It's, it's, uh, it's the people who are, are looking to get something out of it themselves rather than, you know, what's best for the team and, and, and best for the players. I, mean, I think that's, that's proven out through the years. You know, the guys that, that share, I mean, Deshaun could have taken a bunch more shots. He right. Joe Alexander could have taken a bunch more shots. He did. They wanted to win. They, they wanted the team to accept. Kevin Jones is I mean, one of the great team players of all time. Right. And he's obviously one of the better players ever played here. So, you know, I think, I think that's what we have to understand. And, 
and I don't know if it's a matter of liking each other. I mean, uh, I think everybody's in a place where somebody don't like at some sure. time in their career. You know, but that has nothing to do with the time that's on the floor. That's maybe something to do with off the floor. With the guys you had, was that inevitable, or could you have maybe done something to maybe put a finger on it and stop it early? What's that? Not liking each yeah, other? Yeah, or just getting along and trying to, to get them to... You've had a lot of teams through the years. And I've had some guys that didn't like each other. And yeah. you know, honestly, I had a couple I didn't like. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, you don't... We're not asking to go out on a date or anything, you know. We're just asking to, to play together on the floor. I think it's different, and this group is different, because they, they really do enjoy being around each other. You come in here at night, there's three guys in here together. They're rebounding for each other, getting shots. They're, they're, they're in here. They've already been in here during the day. They'll, you know, they'll practice, they'll come in again tonight. And they, you know, they go downtown, they go downtown together. It, it's a, I think it's a lot more fun that way, but it's not like the other way you can't make work. And, and, and I mean, if anybody's insinuating it was that way, yeah, it really was. We had, we had maybe one guy that, that tried, and, and really, I think you saw at the end, he didn't win. He didn't win out. And those guys didn't pay any attention to him. Is there anyone who can look at this? Anyone who can look at this? <laughs> good. Pretty good. I'm getting better. I used to. Oh, well, I know. You got anything to say? <laughs> the teams you guys will be playing, are, are they different than the typical competition in, in the Big 12 at all, play style wise, or I guess kind of similar? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what they'll do defensively. Offensively, obviously, they're going to spread it, penetrate the pitch. By the way, by the way, they play. They're good. Basketball in Spain is very, very good. I think you look at some of the players that have come out of there and gone on and played in the NBA. They, they're, they're good. And we've got, we've got some of the former guys that played in Spain. I've talked about guys, some of the guys that they have. Well, they're good. I mean, that'll be a, that'll be a great challenge for a bunch of young guys. Beyond the game. I would imagine the biggest value is what you're getting out of this right now, right here in this building. Yeah, but yeah, I guess it is. I, it is up to a degree, but not. I don't think not to what I thought it would be uh, years ago, and probably what I think people would perceive that it is. There's so much to learn. You know, how how do you teach how do you teach your defense if you guys don't know how to play that? How do you how do you teach your defense if guys don't know how to slide? How do you if, if they don't know how to advance and retreat with the guy on the ball? Jump defense, rotations, all those kind of things, and that, that takes time. And we're kind of trying to introduce them to a lot of things that you know, so that maybe it clicks later on. But, oh yeah, okay, that's what they were talking about. But the, the hard, the hard thing is, is you break things down, and they, and they kind of, they kind of learn how to do that, but they don't really know how to apply it. And if you, you try to do the whole too soon, then, then fundamentally they can't do what they're supposed to do within the whole. So. Okay. No, I just gonna say. I mean, I'd like to tell you I have the answer. Assuming guys. And in your first year aren't as good as you know, good as you yeah. how do you how do you reach your goals this year with so many guys that are first answer? Well, Bob, I think if, if if Derek continues with the attitude that he's displayed at this point and if he continues to work on his game. He's a guy I think we can, we can build around. Uh, Jordan is a fabulous leader. Uh, he's a little banged up. And, and honestly, 
hasn't been hasn't been what he was at the end of last year just because he's backed up. Uh, they, they all they all want to win. They all don't mind throwing the ball. I think I think they all understand that, that everything needs to go through the big fella. I think it's great for us to play against Derek a little bit. Oscar's finding out he's not the biggest star to do that, which is good for him. You know, so and, and, and he's a great kid. He's going, he's going to do the things that you ask him to do. He's going to work really hard at his skill level. But at the same time, I mean, we got two guys in that can go to work. And Logan's playing better than that. We just, we just keep my stop on the do you look for ways to put Austin against Derek or do you want them to play together or how do you approach that with these guys right now? They've done both. They've played against each other and they've played with each other. That's, I think it's what, what probably ends up when they play when they don't play against each other is the number of the card. Probably Austin. It's good for him. Because there's going to be times when we have to play small and then we'll, we'll probably play small. I talked to Eric in the spring. He said he was anxious to get with him one, Eric one-on-one. -on -one. Just to teach him things he's never really been taught. Like footwork and spacing and all this. Are you seeing any improvement there? He wants to learn. He, he just... You're, you're talking about a guy who's still pretty long. He gets things done because he plays so hard, he runs so hard, and, uh, he pursues the ball. He really pursues the ball. And I think that's helped Derek. And I think Derek pursues the ball better now. He was pretty good at it before. He pursues the ball better now after being around on it. Because if you don't pursue it, he's going to get it. Uh, and, but you know, just the fundamental things that I was really talking about. You have to be able to do those fundamental things. You have to be able to stop, you have to be able to start, you have to be able to pivot. It sounds like pretty simple things, but how many times, how many, how many travelers talk to a guy that doesn't know how to stop, he doesn't know how to start, he doesn't know how to pivot. Uh, and and uh, we spend we spend time, not uh, maybe a great deal, but we spend time working on those really fundamental things that you would think that they would have in their hand, but they really do. Is there a comparison that can be made on where Oscar is now in this game compared to where Derek was when he first got here? Derek's bigger. Right. Derek's Derek's bigger than what Oscar is. I think Oscar's been really good for Derek because of things that Derek wasn't very good at. Oscar's made him do the routine, okay. like run the floor. How many times was I screaming at him to get down the floor? And, and he has to with Oscar, because Oscar's going to run it every single time. You know, but I think Oscar's learned a lot from Derek as well. Derek's footwork, uh, the way Derek carved out space for himself to rebound the ball. Uh, no, I think they're learning from each other. I don't think it's a, one's teaching the other one. I think they're, they're learning from each other. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to keep them both on the floor together as much as we can. I think, I think they're really helpful as long as we can, as long as we can spread the floor enough to get the other guys to the shot. Uh, you mentioned him. Is he a guy that's going to have really a defined role this year, or is he just going to be better than ever? I would say today he's our most improved guy. Absolutely. More aggressive, they've gotten stronger. The rope had to be much stronger than what he was. And they have to run the He really wants to be there. And I think that's the best thing. He's a guy who's got a lot of time and wants to be there. And it's, you know, I think, I think when, you, then when you play and you see the results, you know, the kids are going to be very good. So it's kind of their choice to be able to be going on that aspect of the game. Uh, good. Like, like he would play or like he would want? 
No, he, he, he could play the four. We could, we could spread everybody out. People have done it. They did it at Louisville.